All right, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Collectibles uh, Suicide Squad Katana 1-6 scale statue. Uh, this is the front of the box right here. Then you get Suicide logo here, Suicide Squad logo here, excuse me. And uh, look at the statue there again. Looking good. A lot of detail on the mask. Uh, and then you get a look at some of the other statues in the line here. Give you a second to look at that. And then a uh, nice full view of the statue. And uh, looking good. I like this little logo here. It's really great. And then I think nothing on the bottom but logos, but uh, barcodes and stuff. So, all right, uh, we'll get her out of the packaging and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, here's Katana out of the box. And I got to say, she's looking really great, man. Um, this is definitely one of the better statues out of the line. I do notice uh, the Harley Quinn is actually really great. Um, I have that in the box. I'm probably going to do an unboxing and a review of that uh, pretty soon. But uh, I got Katana finally. And this is one of the rarer statues, one of the harder ones to find for a decent price. I've been seeing that they've been going for at least, uh, you know, like $199, 200 bucks, which is like a little bit over, uh, a little bit, a lot, actually, a lot over what I was going to have to pay it. Big Bad Toy Story, because I remember they were paying, they were uh, charging 119 uh, Anyway, as you can see, like, the, the details in the suit are really great. And I actually like that she has a really great dynamic pose in here, which is uh, something that's really important, I think, with a statue like this, is uh, instead of just having somebody just stand in there, you know, which is uh, kind of like, you know, one of my gripes with the Wonder Woman statue from Batman v Superman, is just, she's just kind of standing there, which is kind of like, eh, you know not very exciting which is this is great she's in like a nice uh dynamic pose where she's got her sword uh all posed up and she's got her her tassels there in the wing going and uh it's really great uh let's take a better look at it right here i'm gonna have to pick up the camera here and uh as you can see like the head sculpt the face sculpt is really nice you know the detail on the mask is really great too gotta say and then, uh, you can see that scar she has across her chest. It's a nice touch. You really see the details in her outfit as well. A lot of great detail. And the zipper and the gold accoutrement on the jacket. Let's go around to here. Again, more great detail on her jacket. Really nice. And then you can see, like, the scar she has there on her, uh, her abdomen there. Some more detail on her legs. Again, some great details there on her knee pads even. You know, just stuff you don't even notice in the film. It's really great. Yeah, I gotta say, like, for statues, like, DC Collectibles does a really great job on the statues, but man, they're... F their action figures have been like just absolutely terrible lately. And you just get your Suicide Squad normal uh, dog tag base there. And a uh, katana butt. They're back there. Symbol there. And on the back of her jacket, she's got some more stuff there. I don't know what any of that means, so don't ask me. No idea. And again, she's got some nice detail on her elbow pads as well. Just like her new pads, she's got some detail on there. And again, just looking very nice. Really great. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and give the statue two thumbs up. I really like the statue. I like the dynamic pose. I think the details are nice. I think they nailed her. The likeness very well and like just like the nice touches like the the great detail on the mask and uh, again on the suit and her costume I think is great um two thumbs up I recommend her if you can find her I know she's a bit hard to find um I do know the GameStop website weirdly enough GameStop has a statue still I think it's I think it's 149 there you know because I've been seeing it on eBay for about 199 definitely don't pay that it's definitely not worth that don't do it um but uh, yeah, the GameStop again. Sorry, the GameStop website still has it uh, for one forty nine. But you know, check, you know, check periodically. You know, it, like they like to put their statues on sale pretty quickly. So it's a good way to like uh, to get a decent price over there for DC collectible statues on GameStop. Weirdly enough, they'll uh, put them on clearance uh, 
kind of soon after, like three to six months after the release, you know, they they generally will have them for good prices and, the, you know, they'll put them on a clearance or something like that. So keep an eye on it. I also know there's a website called Ebates where you can get like a, where they have all like the coupon codes and stuff like that. So you might be able to find a coupon code to get you some more money off it if you want to get it from GameStop or just check eBay. Um, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching the video again and bear with me sitting here giving you shopping tips. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, uh, give me a thumbs like, th a thumbs like, give me a thumbs up in the video. I'm going to leave that in too because it's so stupid. Uh, thumbs up in the video if, uh, if you like it. Uh, subscribe down below if you would like to. I really appreciate it. And again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later and have a great day.